Hello everyone. Welcome to another video on video lecture series on MATLAB tutorial. In today's session, we are going to know more about workspace, which is this important small area. So without wasting time, let's get started. So as I have talked earlier, in this video, we are going to know more about this workspace. See, basically, what is the role of this workspace? Whatever variable you are assigning, that variables will appear in this workspace. Let me show it to you. If I am assigning a variable x with value 45, then this x variable will be stored over here if i'm assigning y 78 the value 78 will be stored in y and that will appear in workspace so whatever variable you are assigning in your script file or through your command window that variable will appear in workspace now if you want to maximize this workspace, you just click this arrow and you can maximize this workspace. Now let me show you something else. Let's just restore. Now let's understand this thing. You have created these two variables. For example, if you are created another variable with some equations, we are going to use simple equations initially z is equal to x plus y and the value of z variable also is stored in workspace for example in future you want to carry on your program from this stage to carry on the program from this stage you require all these variables but once you exit this matlab all the variables from workspace will vanish it will be removed from workspace so if you want to use these variables for future use what you can do you can save this workspace data and for that you need to click on save workspace a separate window to save the file will pop up you select a folder where you want to save it i'll go to this pc and then data and matlab work and workspace i'll name this testing we are testing this thing right so i am giving the name testing so we have saved right so whatever data we have assigned in workspace we have saved this data as testing name now i am going to give you a small command to exit the matlab just write exit exit and press enter the matlab will close this is my obs setups window uh, i am going to open matlab okay so we have again started matlab right now we have given three variables x y and z so let me write x it is undefined function and variable because the value of x you cannot see in workspace so whenever you exit the matlab whatever values stored in workspace that will be automatically removed from workspace it will vanish so let's just try for y as well as for z so each of these variables is not assigned now what we will do now we will import the data so we'll click on import data a separate window will pop up now we'll import the data from the workspace folder testing is our file we will open it so select variable to import using checkbox whichever variables we want to import we can import either them separately or all for example if i want to only import z then i'll click z only or else if i want to import all of them then I'll click mark on everything just click on finish and now you can see all these variables are assigned over here 
so all the variables recall in this workspace and now if you say x then it will show the value of x if you say y it will show y and if you say z it will show z so this is interesting thing about workspace and this is how you can store your data in workspace now let's see something else just maximize this workspace the shortcut key to maximize and minimize this workspace is Control shift m Control shift m it will be minimized Control shift m it will be maximized there are still different values which are uh, available which you can see for these variables in this workspace there are still many things which you can observe in this workspace other than name value and size of the variable just go to this line right click and all these types of data you can see for thus files bytes class minimum value maximum value range mean all these things you can see for the variable you are assigning uh, let's just minimize it and assign a new matrix or new variable a is equal to 1 2 3 this is a variable I am assigning so value of 1 2 3 is assigned right now you can see value is 1 2 3 size is 1 cross 3 the size of this uh, variable is 24 byte double minimum value in this variable is 1 and maximum value in this variable is 3 range 2 mean value is 2 so you can see all this important information in this workspace about your variable so this is the brief about workspace if you want to learn more about MATLAB stay connected to this channel in future we are going to know more about MATLAB from basics So until we meet again in our next video, till that time, bye bye.